Hi and welcome to another video tutorial by the MYRB API team. We will talk about invoices and we'll go through some basics on what you need to consider when creating an invoice in Account Write Live using the Account Write Live API. So let's get started. This is the end of sales window in Account Write Live. As you can see, to create an invoice in Account Write, you first need to select a customer. However, as a developer, the first step when creating an invoice via the API is to identify the invoice layout. This is because each of the invoice layouts in the API are separate endpoints, which means you first need to select which endpoint you need to use to create an invoice. If you need to sell a product or an item from the account tried inventory list, then you need to use the item layout. If you're not selling anything from the inventory list or just want to provide a general ledger account for the invoice, then you can use the service layout. You can also use other layouts like professional, miscellaneous and time billing. Now let's go through creating a sample invoice. Account Write Live uses the underlying business logic when creating an invoice and each layout has its own rules or business logic behind. For example, mandatory information required to create an invoice. So if I try to hit record here, it tells me I need to select the customer. And the API uses the same business logic when creating an invoice. So let's select a customer and create an item invoice for Footloose Dance Studios. As you can see, a lot of information is pre-populated based on the customer I've selected. I want to sell one item of the large cooler, which has a unit price of $520. We will now highlight the mandatory fields, the customer terms of trade, the invoice number, the date, shipping quantity, item, total amount, tax code, and the free tax code. Like a contract, the API also defaults some of these based on the custom information that you provide. Now I can hit record and there you go, I've created a new invoice.